Hey guys, here we have a Mitsubishi VCR, portable VCR. I've been for the past three days trying to make it work, and I think I got it kind of decent now. So let's try a Blockbuster cassette that somebody recorded a, an X-File episode. Picture is looking kind of crappy, just so you know. So there you go. Let's fast forward the video. Uh, here I have the the tracking. You have the lines here. You can put them down. Oh, now it's playing very well. I think I fixed it. Anyways, let's stop before I get the copyright strike. Uh, there's another cassette from my dad. Probably will never watch this. Probably gonna get copyright strike again by posting this, but. I should archive this stuff. Let's raise the volume. You see how the lines are going up? It wasn't doing that yesterday. Hats are kind of dirty. I've been trying my best to clean them. Speaking of dirty. <laughs> Let's rewind. Alright, so that's enough video. It's gonna start to get boring. Uh, so yeah, my uncle sent me a package from Japan with this VCR. I have a boombox that I'm probably gonna make a video after I'm done with this. And it's hiding there. My that national box over there. There's a camcorder. I'm not gonna post a video of that yet have to fix it first but speaking of camcorders this is what I wanted to do with this so you can put a battery on the back of this thing run a cable if you cannot read katakana it says camera on that black cable and you can get a color video camera from the early 80s and Here's one of them, it's a Panasonic Nubicom Omnipro, whatever you want to call it, uh, with, I think it's very fancy, it's got autofocus, got focus, speaking of focus, um, camera, yeah, so you have manual focus, autofocus, it's got automatic everything, it even has power zoom, uh, it doesn't have the viewfinder, it's over here. And I just killed it, oh, kinda, technically. The the viewfinder, I had this on for like three hours and the viewfinder stopped working. Have to fix it. But you got video. Uh, that thing still works. See, I'm putting it by cat. There you go. Zero, zero. Hello. And look, this is the... You see how the line follows when something's really shiny? That's part of the new Vicon tube. Something I wanted to try for a long time. But yeah, 
So, if I can make these two things reliable, I'm gonna try putting a battery on this thing and carry it around and make my own home videos rather than using this fancy modern camera. Uh, what else can I talk about this thing? Let me disconnect the camera. So, now you see it's on channel 2. This can record. Here you have your, this is your time setting. This is how to set the time to um, record a channel. Of course, it's all analog, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you can put it on. Here you go. You see that light? It says video. So you can set it. This is on TV. Teddy B says here. So it will record television, but if you set it like this, you can put any video input on this thing and it will record that. So yeah, there you go. You can record your channel still today. And once you do your settings, push this thing up, the lever is going to be on the top. It's kind of cool. Uh, channels, you can select up to 10 channels. So you can see, uh, in case anybody gets this from Japan and doesn't know what this means, this is your timer. So it will turn it off after 30 minutes, an hour, an hour 30, and two hours. This is a pause. Fast forward, rewind. This is going to be your counter. And time. Today is Wednesday. It's 107. Uh reset so when you have your time it your timer you can reset it memory counter so once the counter was on zero before i did that i will press memory and it will rewind to the moment i i put the timer on zero i don't know i don't know i haven't tried that yet and this is the hardest setting uh you can set it up to 10 channels this is pretty much for aesthetics, I guess. This is to set your channel. And you press the memory here. And you can go by one channel or 10, like 10, 20, 30. And then you hit memory. And I don't know how to erase numbers. I, I forgot, sorry. And this is automatic uh, selection, which won't work anymore. And this is like UHF, VHF, and whatever that is. And then you can fine tune your your thing with this tool. Like you can twist like this. And there's some other setting. You see that little ridge, like that little gap. You you put this, and there's a lever you can move. Of course, all of this is worthless because no analog anymore. Unless you have a Famicom and you want to plug it in. Oh, I forgot about this. This is pretty cool. So let's say you don't, you cannot see at night. You're recording with your fancy brand new camera from 1982. And you want to see how much tape you got left. This is Cassette uh, Toraito. Cassette Light. Woo! You have a light. And it fades. It's pretty cool. And what else? So the model is HV34T Fantas. Makes me thirsty. This is not a counter. This is not an hour meter or, any or anything. This is a serial number. Why? I don't know. But it's funny. Uh, here in the back, you can see it's matching the number. Uh, there you go. It's analog outputs and inputs. This is to charge it with the charger that I don't have. Ooh! Oh no, I'm gonna scratch it! <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so... Let's take this off. This gets pretty warm. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Ow. It's hot. It's supposed to run on 100 volts. My transformer duh, uh, tones it down to 110. Uh, so I don't know if I'm burning this or not, but who cares? I'm probably barely gonna use it. This is where the the where the battery. Nope. This 
there's a little bit, yeah, you cannot see my, maybe you can, I don't know. There it says battery, you can plug the battery in here, and that's where you charge it. But now I'm, this has the AC adapter, probably was being used as a karaoke machine, like, like Japan always does, I don't know. There's your camera input, I think I showed that already. Sharpness. Input and output and microphone. Maiku. There you go. Other side, there's nothing. And it's red. Desirable red color. So it can look like 80s Japan. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, there you go. Nice combo, huh? Got that in the States for $5. That was a steal. It was good while it lasted. Maybe I'm going to change capacitors and it's going to be good to go. But yeah, uh, nice seeing you guys around and see you next time.